I'm back. Hello everyone, my name is Monica and this is my channel, Mooney Reads, where I talk about books and things. And it's been a while. I think it's been three or four months, but to me it's felt like a year. I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave chapters down below just in case you don't care about this part of the video and you just want to get into the tag. By the way, that's what I'm doing. You saw the title. I'm doing the mid-year check-in tag. So if you just want to get to the tag, it's gonna be pretty boring, but you know. Just go to that chapter. Basically, I kind of left you all hanging. I I just couldn't do it anymore. And by do it, I do mean booktube. And it wasn't anything crazy. It was just my work schedule was crazy. I was not in a good place mentally. I am now seeing a therapist. I have been seeing a therapist for a couple of months. Things are going well. Um, I'm also seeing my psychiatrist, um, but some things have happened in my life where I've been, I, I don't want to call it a reading slump because I don't think it's a really a really slump. It's basically me dealing with depression through just doing nothing. Like there are days where I'll just lay in bed and do nothing, which is okay because, you know, certain things in my life have happened that made it so coming on here and putting on a happy face or even my sarcastic self just wasn't doing it. It wasn't gonna happen. I've also not been reading. Like I said, I just, it took a couple of months of me just laying in bed and sometimes I still just do that. Just laying in bed watching TikTok for hours. I did have to delete TikTok from my phone because it was just messing with me. Like I, I can, I have the concentration of a goldfish now. Like I cannot do anything for like more than sixty seconds because it, like, I'm like, where, where, what's the new thing, you know? Um, so yeah, I've been kind of taking a break from reading, and honestly, I think that that's okay. I have a lot of books that I'm excited for, a lot of books that I want to get to, but I don't want to get to them in this negative headspace. So this year is not going to be like last year where I was reading 20 books a month. You know, I think if, I, let me check because I think I'm lucky if I've read 20 books this year, which I'm not going to feel bad about. I've read 14 books this year, which, you know, there's this whole competition there's this whole competition thing on booktube to see who can read more and i used to be able to read 14 books in a month but this year has just not been that year you know with a lot of the shit that i've been going through it just hasn't been that way and that my friends is okay Sometimes you can have a hobby that you love like I love reading. I really do love reading Sometimes when I'm reading I'm like, why do I, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? But honestly the reality is that I love reading But sometimes I just don't want to do it and that's okay I have a whole video about how you know We have this whole thing of how to get out of reading slumps and getting through reading slumps and sometimes it's just that you're taking a break from a hobby. It's not a big deal and I've been taking a break from reading but that doesn't mean that I have to take a break from making videos. That's a whole other video that I plan to film because I feel that a lot of people are scared to start booktube channels because they don't read 50 books a month, you know? And the reality is as long as you feel you have something to say about books, not even about the books you're reading at the moment but books in general, then I feel you should have a YouTube channel. But that's another topic for another day. So I've been talking your ear off for about four minutes now <laughs> about my life. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you know a little bit of what happened. I don't want to get into it now. Um, but uh, feel free to ask me. I am not, you know, I just don't want to put it in this video because I want this video to be fun and positive and you know talking about certain things is not fun and positive so well okay I don't want it to be positive because I'm not you know I'm not we we all know if you're new here hi I am not your positive happy-go-lucky booktuber I I have some sarcastic strong opinions and we are just gonna deal with that all right so if you skipped all of that no worries, I don't blame you. I would have too. But here's the thing. I wanted to do the mid-year book check-in tag thing. 
uh, because I thought like what a better way to come back to booktube than to do a mid-year check-in and like I said I've only read 14 books this year I say only but honestly I've read more books than the majority of people in my life read in an entire year so I am not ashamed of that number I have been a reader my whole life and sometimes I read more sometimes I read less this year just happens to be the year that I read less than the year before and maybe next year I'll read more I don't know and maybe now that I am m more free because I don't have as many classes I'll read more I don't know I'm still gonna be making like <laughs> I told you that I was gonna stop talking about this but I'm still gonna be making TBRs but don't expect me to stick to them but let's get back to the tag I have the, ta the questions here because you know that I'm not gonna memorize them the best book you've read so far this year like always I'm not I haven't pre-prepared anything I'm just going I'm just going with the flow and um oh I have this book where is it it's right here is it here it should be here it's not so the best book that I've read this year is never let me go by Kazuo Ishiguro like this is just far and above beyond anything that I've read this year. Honestly, I think watching the movie in that book to movie adaptation project that I did that I will link up here. No, it's up here where my eye is. Um, really helped cement this book as one of my favorite sci-fis ever. Reading this book and watching this movie honestly helped cement it as one of my favorite sci-fi that I've ever read. I actually enjoy the movie better than the book, but that's a whole thing. You can watch it. Basically, I think that the ending of this book is really dragged out while the ending of the movie just kind of ends and you get like this sense of cathartic satisfaction. Is that a thing? Cathartic satisfaction? I don't know. But yeah, the best book I've read this year is Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. <laughs> Do I ever keep things brief? I don't think so. Best sequel you've read so far? I don't think I've read any sequels. Let me check. Oh yes, I have. I have. And it's right here. The best sequel that I've read this year is Bridge of Souls by Victoria Schwab. Now this is part of the Cassidy Blake series. This is about a young girl. She's, I think she's about 12 to 14, something like that. And she sees ghosts. And the funny thing is her parents are filming a TV show about haunted places and she goes along with them and her job as a person that sees ghosts is to make sure that ghosts find their way to the other side. Except her best friend is a ghost and she doesn't want to see him leave. So this, these books are just fun, they're entertaining, they're sweet, I really like them. This was not my favorite sequel i think the other one the, the one before this one called tunnel of bones tunnel of bones was better but i really enjoyed it nonetheless i love the characters and um i like that victoria schwab has pared down the harry potter references because the first book was so into the harry potter references that it was kind of hard to even like ignore but in these books, um, she really does a good job of like, okay, I understand the critiques and I don't want to support J.K. Rowling, but I had already established these characters as being really into Harry Potter, so I'm going to do my best to pare it down, but also not pretend like it never happened, like they never talked about Harry Potter before. And I thought that was really smart, I thought that was really cool, and I really appreciate that, so... I think that this ton, ton, this this tunnel of nothing, this <laughs> this book, The Bridge of Souls by Victoria Schwab, is definitely the best sequel that I've read this year. Also, I just want to stop. What? Well, okay, no, I have the perfect answer for another question, so I'm just gonna keep going. So, um, new release you haven't read yet but want to. Funny story. Before I filmed this video, the new release that I really, really, really wanted to get to and I thought that I was going to love was um, The Ones We're Meant to Find. I don't remember the author. You're seeing the pretty picture here. And then I watched Books and Lala's vlog where she read it because she thought this was going to be a five star. And here's the thing, Books and Lala and I don't have the, the similar reading taste, but 
she just liked it so much that it makes me not want to spend my money to read it so i don't really know a book that fits this criteria i guess no oh oh yes yes the one by becky chambers oh what is it called hang on i have it in audible i haven't started it yet because i want to be like in a good headspace when i read it because this is my favorite series i think of all time the galaxy and the ground within by becky chambers now this book came out i think in the first half of the year well obviously in the first half of the year but i haven't read it yet i have it here waiting for me in my audible library um and i'm really excited i'm gonna buy the book the physical copy that matches my physical copies of the books that i already have i think you can see them here i don't want the american version of it i want the uk edition and it comes out later the paperback but the book is already out it's just that i'm waiting for a specific cover because that's something that i do so yeah that's the one that i'm definitely waiting to read and hopefully i will read it soon well i don't know i don't know like i said my reading is just not up to par lately so we'll see and most anticipated release for the second half of the year now i don't really follow new releases i just kind of <laughs> find out through book two what everybody's reading and then i'm like oh i want to read that too <laughs> you know like i don't follow them on goodreads or anything like that it's that I, I i sound so pretentious saying that it's just that i just don't fucking know when things are coming out but I did find out that the next book in the Star in the Star Wars, no, the Skyward series, um, is coming out. Man, this is a big book, and I and I actually read this in physical format. Um, the next book in the Skyward series is coming out, and definitely, definitely, a book like I'm. I'm probably going to buy that book the second it comes out. Speaking of, I know that I said that 2021 was a no buy year, but then shit happened and um i've bought some things not a lot of things compared to other years so it's been a low buy year but yeah i've definitely i've definitely bought things and the sequel to this book is something that i am definitely buying well it's not the sequel to this book it's the sequel to the other one and i am buying the uk covers because they did the americans wrong with those covers i'm sorry the biggest disappointment is it here yes okay I want I want you to take this what the fuck <laughs> I want you to take this with a grain of salt but uh, my biggest disappointment is uh, flowers for Alderdom by Daniel Keyes I was expecting something coming into this book and what I got was completely different and that's why it disappointed me it also uses some slurs that I'm not comfortable with but that I understand that for the time that this book was written these were common things that does not make it okay that does not mean that this is okay it just means that it's a book of its time and um honestly I wanted this book to be about the mouse but it's not about the mouse it's about the human so <laughs> just so you know if you are going to read flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes it's not about the mouse it's about the human it was disappointed that doesn't mean it was a bad book I just it wasn't the book that I was expecting it to be big surprise okay okay so I have two one of them I'm gonna make a whole video about because y'all went crazy on Twitter when I said that I actually like Shadow and Bone by Lee or Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. Uh, we'll get into that. So that was a big surprise, but I actually don't love that book as much as people think I love that book. But for me, the biggest surprise I have the Spanish version here, but it's Kings of the Wild by uh, Nicholas Eames. I love this book so much. This book made me so happy and it's a fantasy story and it just, it made me miss playing D&D &D. like when I was younger and I used to play D&D because I don't play D&D &D anymore. I don't, I don't really like fantasy so I don't like the world of D&D. &D. I still role play but I role play like Star Wars and, and cyberpunk and, and vampire and stuff like that. So I think that this book was um, one of the ones that definitely made me surprised. <laughs> I, I, 
forgot what I was gonna say. It surprised me. It really surprised me. So much so that I bought my husband the Spanish edition and he read it and it was such a great experience reading with my husband. We don't, we don't often read together because he really likes fantasy and doesn't read that much sci-fi. Also, I read books in English. He reads books in Spanish. He can't read in English. I mean, he can read in English a little bit, but not enough to read a, an entire book. And it was such a great experience to be able to share this book with my husband and we were talking about scenes and I kept telling him, have you gotten to the part where, and he was like, no, don't spoil me. And it was so, it was great. It was, this was a, a, a big surprise for me. I didn't expect to love it and um, I really did love it a lot. Favorite new author. I'm gonna go with, I mean, I, I'm gonna go with Kazu Ishiguro. Um, I haven't read anything else by Kazuo Ishiguro, but I think his writing style really suits my personality. I don't know, I think his soft, kind of wandering, kind of train of thought, sort of slow-paced sci-fi is my shtick. And I know he has a new book out, but I'm scared to read it because what if I don't like it? <laughs> scared that I might not like it so um yeah the next I will eventually get that book but I, I'm waiting I'm waiting because I'm scared so um so far it's Kazuo Ishiguro I really I really loved this book and it's amazing oh look I kept that one brief oh I hate this because this is so very beginning of booktube this question like when everybody was like 16 newest fictional crush I don't crush really on fictional characters anymore i think that that's something and it has a place and time for your growth you know when you're finding out what you like in a person and stuff like that i think that it's cool to have crushes on fictional characters i'm not saying that it's bad i'm just saying that i'm not at that place anymore so I don't think that I have personally a, a crush. I think the last character I ever crushed on was Polina Wathrop, which really says a lot about me as a person. Um, if you've read The Monstermologist, then you know. But um, I don't think I have any new... Let me let me check Goodreads just in case like I have like a heartthrob character. No, I don't have any new fiction. You know what? I have so many books here that could like that I want to talk about. Maybe I'll do a whole like year wrap up because I really want to talk about all these books, but I just don't know how to do it because it's been so long. So maybe I'll do a mid year wrap up, which is only 14 books. So don't worry, you're not, it's not gonna be like a three hour video. Um, yeah, I I think I'll do that, but I don't have any new fictional crushes definitely no no next newest favorite character do i have a favorite character i mean the easy answer is where is it here i guess my new no this is world war z this is not the martian oh here's the martian so i guess my my like obvious answer would be the martian not the martian but what's his name mark watney from um the martian I think he and I would make a fun pair of friends. I don't, you know, it's like not like a crush thing because I think we would like, I don't think our egos could fit in the same room and he's smarter than me. So I would constantly be thinking about that. <laughs> I really think he's a cool character. I actually liked him in the movie more though. I think Matt Damon brings like such a human approach. I don't know, like, like, he makes the character warmer than he feels in the book so oh that's another book that i want to read project hail mary like yeah that's another one i'm all over the place i'm sorry i haven't filmed in a long time a book that made you cry none of these uh, i'm lying it's i'm gonna repeat this this one it made me cry and the movie made me cry even more i'm looking to see if there's anything else no it was this one First book I read in the year, best book I read in the year so far. Made me cry, made me happy, made me appreciate a whole new author. It's, 
Also, watch the movie. Please watch the movie. I know that this is a book channel, but you really should watch the movie because it's really, really good. A book that made you happy. I already mentioned Kings of the Wild, but I think that that's like... I think that that's the best book that could fit. Um, let me get it for you. <laughs> I think that, that, that this is the best book that fits that prompt. It made me happy. It made me happy to share it with my husband. It's just a fun book. It's just a fun book. And I know some people don't like it, but I don't care. <laughs> I just really appreciate this book and um, it made me really happy. It made me happy to read it. But I think the experience of having my husband read it with me, not with me because I finished it, bought it for him, and then he finished it. Um, but having those moments of, did you read this? Oh my God, you read that. What did you think about that? And, and we both, oh, oh, I also cried with this book. I cried with this book like five times. But um, yeah, it was that moment, that 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 sharing, you know, like that moment of I, I that I barely get with uh, with people in real life because most of the people around me are not readers. But having that with my husband was really great. So I'm gonna say this book definitely made me happy. Most beautiful book you've bought so far this year or received? Oh, I have it here because I have it for my next video um this one i love the cover of the midnight library by matt haig i think i love like i love these colors together it kind of reminds me not really but in that big contrasting colors it reminds me of the magic for liars book which you all know is one of my favorite books of all time so I'm actually saving this for a weekend where I'm feeling really well because today is Sunday. Of course, you're not seeing this on a Sunday, but um, I was going to start reading this on a Saturday, but I was really in a, in a not a good place. So I'm, I'm saving this because I really miss just reading one book in one go, just like being like, I'm going to be up until six in the morning reading a book. So this is basically... The most beautiful book that I've bought. I also haven't bought many books this year because like I said, I really haven't been spending my money that way. Just bought a new computer. You're seeing this because I bought a new computer and computers are expensive. I, I didn't I, I I just never realized how much of a luxury having a computer is. So that's some, some something for you to think about. Like something that is so important for everyday life is really expensive and that says a lot about the world that we live in doesn't it and the last question is what books do you need to read by the end of the year i'm not gonna say any book that i need to read by the end of the year because i'm not in school i don't have to read any of these books for anything um i want to read some of them but i don't need to like if i don't get to them life will go on you know and honestly with the place i'm at mentally i'm not gonna push myself to read any book i do want to pare my kindle books down because i found out that i have like over a hundred unread kindle books and yeah that's pretty much it wow that was a lot I, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed me coming back to booktube because I definitely have missed it and I am not gonna say a lot more because like I always say to myself I'm gonna keep videos short I'm gonna keep them short and then they end up being half an hour long so I'm just gonna leave it here thank you so much for those of you that stayed subscribed um, if you want to leave after this then you know um but if you don't and if this is your first time watching me or something i don't know subscribe like let me know you're still here because i'm still here thankfully and i'm still i'm gonna try to stick to my three videos a week format it just makes me feel good when i have like like a like a structure like that i have to keep not that i have to keep to but that i want to keep to and well Without further ado, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in another galaxy far, far away. Bye.